Probabilities are often used in the context of big data processing. The Big Data Fundamentals course makes use of algorithms that are set up so that certain information is found within gigabytes and gigabytes of data with very high probability. However, this is beyond what we want to discuss now. So let's get to know probability a bit better. What is probability? It is the likelihood that an event will occur. We quantify probability as a number between 0 and 1. If an event has a probability of 0, then it is impossible for it to happen. If an event has a probability of 1, then it will happen for sure. The greater the probability of an event, the more likely it is to happen. To make this clearer, consider a die, which is the singular name for what we more commonly refer to as dice. The die has six sides, numbered 1 to 6. Its shape is very regular. When you roll it, what is the probability that you will roll a 6, assuming that you have not changed the die in any way? It is 1 over 6, which is just under 17%. What is the probability that you roll a 3? Again, it is 1 over 6. I now roll one die a few times to see what happens. I've rolled a 5, a 2, a 3, a 6, a 1, a 6 again. Have you noticed that there was no 4 in that sequence? This observation is important. The fact that an event has a probability that is greater than 0 does not mean that it is guaranteed to happen, even though you would expect it. Let's make all of this a little bit more formal now, as this will greatly help to clarify what you will learn in the rest of this section. First, we need a sample space omega that defines events. For example, for a single die, the space consists of the events that a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5 or a 6 is rolled. Next, we need to define the set of allowable events A, which are subsets of the event space omega. For example, the event of rolling one die and getting a 2 or a 3 is an allowable event. We also need a probability function to assign probabilities to events. For example, the probability of the event to roll a 2 or a 3 is the sum of the two individual events, which in total is 1 over 3. There are three underlying assumptions, also called probability axioms. 1. Every event E has a probability between 0 and 1. 2. There is at least one event that is guaranteed to happen, that is, the probability of the event consisting of all allowable events is 1. In our case, this is 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 is the outcome of rolling a die. 3. For any countably finite sequence of pairwise mutually disjoint events, E1, E2, E3 and so on, it holds that the probability for the union of events to happen is equal to the sum of the probabilities of the individual events. Let us consider the single die once more. Let EI be the event that we roll an I. Our sample space consists of six events. Let us assume that I have a fair die, meaning that the probability for each number is the same. Now, what is the probability of rolling a 1 or a 2? And how about the probability of rolling a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6? Okay, enough of this formality. This was not so difficult, was it? In the remainder of this section, you will discover more simple and complex events. You will learn how to calculate probabilities and expected values, so that you can calculate them yourself. You will also learn how you can bound the probabilities of certain events to happen. Again, this will come in very handy in the near future. Probably. For sure.